teachers and fellow students. We hear about leadership every day. Be a good leader, be a good man. But what exactly does it mean? For an answer to this question, I turned to the Oxford English Dictionary. A leader is someone whom people follow. A leader has authority. For people to accept a leader, his or her leadership must be legitimate. A leader can therefore help people work together towards a common goal. In my journey so far, I have strived to be a leader wherever I can. In this speech, I've taken a deep dive into some leaders and icons. I invite you all to listen to these stories and my aspirations to demonstrate the necessary qualities of a good leader. Kane Williamson is the captain of the Black Caps. As an ex totem Boys College student, he is naturally a role model to me. And this is enhanced by the fact that I love to play cricket and I aspire to captain my team. Kane Williamson is an incredible leader. He is self-aware, shows awesome communication skills. He is servant-hearted and humble. One of the moments I remember of Kane Williamson's humility was during the 2019 Cricket World Cup. After staying up all night to watch the World Cup, I was absolutely heartbroken that New Zealand had lost in such dramatic fashion. And I watched Kane Williamson in the press conference afterwards. I was amazed how composed he was. Kane reflected on the campaign with a smile. He accepted that winning isn't everything, and his humility shone through. Nelson Mandela is another phenomenal leader. Mandela's visions led him to fight for a better mankind. It was these visions that kept him going through the darkest days of his imprisonment. He never gave up, despite being in prison for 27 years before being elected as the first South African president. I want to model myself after Nelson Mandela because of his determination. Mandela once said, everyone can rise above circumstances and achieve success if they are dedicated to and passionate about what they do. Like Mr. Mandela, I want to achieve success through determination. I think one of the most important parts of leadership is diversity. After researching two well-known male figures that we've probably all heard of, I looked for a change. That's when I found out about Hiniwehi Mohi. Hiniwehi is a Māori musician and entrepreneur. She's changed the way New Zealand music is forever. In 1999, Mohi was asked to perform the New Zealand national anthem for the Rugby World Cup, the first game for the All Blacks and she performed the anthem in Māori instead of English. This was a gesture that received massive backlash in the New Zealand press at the time, and she was quite bemused by this. Her bravery to go ahead with this makes her stand out as a leader. Mohi's daughter also suffers from cerebral palsy. Mohi stood up as a true leader, and instead of not doing anything about this horrible situation her child was in, she set up the Rakatodi Music Therapy Centre. This centre gives young children with disabilities a chance to express themselves through music. I found this story amazing and I felt a particular closeness because of my love of music. Mohi stands out as someone who displays leadership through empathy. These Three leaders show traits, skills, and qualities that make them great leaders. As an aspiring young leader, I want to make a difference in the world. I think I can do this through humility, determination, and empathy. The role models in my life can guide me to a future of leadership. I'm going to finish with a quote from the American essayist Ralph Waldo Emerson. 
Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Thank you.